I'm Todd Bennett. I'm originally from Kansas City. Now I live in Los Angeles. Um, this is the uh, the Manhattan Beach Open, and uh, it's I think the fourth stop this year. Um, basically, the the qualifier um, series. It, it's a tournament that's the the day before the main draw, and eight teams will make it to tomorrow, and uh, they'll have the the pleasure of playing a top seeded uh, professional team first match in the morning, and uh, most likely move to the losers bracket. But uh, and then it starts all over after you make it through the the qualifier series. If you get enough points, then you'll be one of the top 24 teams, and you won't have to qualify on Friday for the Saturday event. It's a tough process. I mean, the road is the road is brutal. There's a point system that you've got to follow. The more games you win, the more points you get, obviously. So, you know, just trying to start, you're playing against the guys who are on the bubble. Sometimes they get into the main draw. Sometimes they they don't qualify. So you're playing against those teams a lot, and you're paying your dues. You see a wide range of commitment level. Um, I, I have a real job, you know. Uh, a lot of guys don't. They are bypassing having, you know, a, a serious career to pursue and train on a, you know, a more regular basis. And you'll see a lot of guys who, you know, have jobs that are really flexible, like, you know, waiting tables, bartenders, you know, working for themselves, maybe real estate or something like that. You know, they're, they're doing that primarily because their number one goal is volleyball. And, um, you know, it's, it's a huge commitment, and I think the reason why I and everybody else, you know, put so much time into it is you're only young once, you know, you only got one shot to do this, and I'd love to be able to say I was a professional volleyball player, even if I didn't make much money doing it. <laughs> um, I think everybody would just love to be in the limelight for a little while. Being out here and living a life here in Manhattan, I've played beach, gosh, all through my high school year. In fact, I missed most of my high school because of it. And uh, it was great, though. It's a great thing to enjoy and be out here and just the vibe you get being on the beach and knowing that not only are you doing something that's amazingly fun, but your office is the beach. And you can't really go, you, you, you can never really have a bad day out here because no matter whatever you're doing, somebody's wearing a suit somewhere else doing the uh, daily nine to five. And that's just something that luckily we don't have to really do just yet. Um, other than that, it's just been a really good time. We really, really enjoy ourselves. So. It's easy to get really wrapped up in it, too. Yeah, very uh, easy get out and you train every day and you just kind of put your heart and soul into it. First time qualifying for 2004 ADP and um, we qualified 29th, we played the four seed Karch Karai and Mike Lambert. I don't know what the words are, but it's, it's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow. First time qualifying this year against the legend and Lambert, so looking forward to it. Very exciting, very exciting. You, know, you make me the grandfather of volleyball tournaments and you get out here and you play against the best of the best. You know, you've got, you know, George Romain, Jason Ring, Karch, and Lambert, you know, Brent Doble, Brian Lewis, Fenway and Wong, you know, the best of the best are out here, and it's, it's incredible. Thirty little off speed shot just out of the reach. Jeff Nygaard. Third ringer in Jennings, one pull away. Gonna show that one good marks you've seen in the ball morning. And third ringer points to the Stanford boys in the crowd, and he's on fire. Give it up for Fergie and Jennings on to the semifinals. Hey Mike, what makes it real <laughs> what makes it real special about playing out of Manhattan Beach, you know, what's storied history? Well more than the money, more than the it's about the bragging rights, because you get your name, 
on a little plaque on the pier. And uh, then everyone knows, you know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a, a rite of passage to, to greatness. So everyone really scraps for that one. It's a, it's a real important, it's like our Wimbledon, you know. Everyone's a little, everyone's real hungry for this one. So I've actually already been to the spot where the next plaque is going to be. And I've kind of blessed it and, you know, tried to find my chi there and, you know, get some energy. So see how it goes, one game at a time. It's the Wimbledon of, of volleyball for all of us, and you got to bring your game to this one. Um, it's kind of like it's kind of like a Grand Slam. It's just it's the biggest one. It, gets, it doesn't get better than this. And out of any, truthfully in my heart, I'd like to win. It's this one. I'll take a win anywhere, but when I win this one, man, it's the best. So. Oh, the women's final should be a good final. I'm hoping that uh, way, Holly can get her, get her next win so that she can be the all-time tournament champion and, and wins. I think that would be exciting. I think it would be great for her here on her home beach. So I'm going to go ahead and pull for Holly and, uh, and EY. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. Kurt Rainer Jennings are in the final. 15-13. Yeah.